Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Ma Teng Tiao Only Let's Play. We pick things back up for episode 8 from turn 59 in the spring season of 206. So we ended last episode with a battle here at the gates where Ma Chou, with his newly acquired elephant, stomped everyone in Jiamengguan. And we also got a few level up, so let's take advantage of that right now. I think we want charge bonus and then eventually battle running speed. Yeah, I think that's not too much to ask. And for our strategist, he has pretty much all the useful ones. Uh, Wisdom of the River obviously would be great. Patience would be pretty good too for capture enemy officers. Gorilla deployment would be nice as well. Hmm. This might not be necessarily... Hmm. Yeah, we don't need this in this army. The reason is... He's never going to do anyone, and she's never going to do anyone, because we have Elephant and Poison Volley, so we are never really going to need Wisdom of the River. So we don't need it right away. It's still a powerful skill, because it debuffs really, really hard for all generals and enemy units, but I think we can go with this one for now. Alright, let's grab a Reform, now that it's spring. We are trying to grab the level 5... Silk Trader, so I think now that we have every other piece, we have to come over here, which will give us an extra trade route, which brings up the question of whether we can assign administrators to passes or not. Because I think we can. Uh, we've been discussing this with some of the comments, and people have been saying I should give away the passes, and they can become a single entity trade partner. And they can hold on to these money losing passes that we don't really need because if you look at where our passes are, they're pretty much on the interior. They're no longer on the front line. Like maybe Sun Pass can be kind of a front line blocking a potential attack from Li Jue, but most likely we're going to finish them off here and protect our silk. So, especially Dao Meng Guan, we really don't need it. So, if we can give it away, that would be a huge win for us. I'm going to pop the army out. For us to create such administrator, there should be a general that we don't want, right? Perhaps someone who we can dump. And there might just be nobody right now. I mean, I want to keep him because he has that fondness. I want to keep her because it's the potential for nobility plus fire arrows. Maybe if we just recruit a random general. There's a lot of generals for us to pick from. Maybe we go with someone like him. No particular reason. I mean, the fact that he's a clerk, which means they could probably upgrade their pass a little bit faster. And we're not really scared of them rebelling against us since they are just holding on to a pass. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter who we pick. If I can find some passive traits, like humble or something, where we know they're not going to act up against us. Cowardly, for example. Okay, let's use Fun Chou. And what we're going to do is we're going to shuffle one of them away. And let's see if we can actually get this to work. Yes, we can. Okay. So Fun Chou would become the administrator of Jiamengguan. And then we would... Ah, so you see... You can't actually, you can assign administrators, but you can't grant them independence. So this is essentially impossible. All right, then we'll simply release them from service. We'll lose a little bit of money this turn because she's not in her assignment role, but that's worth testing out. But now we know for sure. All right, anyhow, 
Uh, we do have that extra trade agreement, which I think we can use. There should be some sort of Nunmon faction or someone we're bordering right now that can trade with us. Ah, Zhongzi. That's not possible. So I think what we need to do is take Ba. Once we take this and get the port, we can actually trade with factions throughout the Yangtze River. And that would be pretty uh, good for us. Meanwhile... I think we actually moved all the armies. That battle was the last battle. Right. So now we can try to spend the rest of the money. We splurged a thousand on nothing. A bit unfortunate. Uh, what mission do we have left? Administrative office. Administrative office. Okay. So that means this is going to temporarily host the administrative office. And then Basi Wei. Just trying to see which one is more urgent. I guess Basi would be the one. Alright. We can still afford upgrades, so let's take them. Now that we're poor. Just so that we know. Nobody good. Right, empty. We'll fix that. Big old family. Okay, everybody's fine. Let's continue. Alright, we got the mission finished. Why is this showing us not the mission, but just telling us the Grand Tutor? Well, it doesn't matter. We can move him back. We can move her back. All right. Sure, so you wonder if you belong to the Shu clan. You don't, okay. Could be Shu Xiu for all I know. Hmm, not interested. Another bandit character. I mean, it's redeemable, right? You get mobility, you get poison arrow, you just don't get nobility. It's still good. I think we can take him. Yeah, I actually think he's quite good. Alright, we'll grab him. Right, we'll ignore them, and we'll take this. If we can, uh, we can't reach them, so it doesn't matter. We're not going to be able to reach off any experience. We'll just let them delegate this away with night battle. Alright, who leveled up? Zanba, level 6. Gosh. Alright, give us some replenishment. Poison arrows or replenishment. Replenishment first. Next level, next level. Alright, so I think we're going to take this and set up administrator and give it away. We're going to give away this part of Shu and then we'll go take that. And then we'll come down. Alright, big fight here. Level 6 commander. We might have to wait for them to show up. So since we're not at war with Monghua right now, they're going to come down and help. That's what that army is going to do too. And yeah, we're just going to do the slow sieges right now. Because it's going to be a couple turns before they get here. If they want to come out and fight us, I'm down for that. What are we going to do with Ma Chao's force? I don't think we need to go south. I think that's overkill. I think it's better if we hang out around here in case there's a war. They're out of land. They're dead. Right, they're a dead faction. Which means we can try to get all their cash. Mm, I don't want to 
vassalize him. He has no more land, so he's done. Just pay us everything you have. Oh my god, he saved up so much money. But obviously he's never going to pay us all that. Let's see how much we can get. 3,000 cash. I don't trust his per turn because I don't know when he's going to just die. He's He has a lot of enemies, not just us. My yellow turbans could kill him. Ooh, two wolves could kill him. Alright, 3750. That was close. Alright. Our vassals don't like the peace deal. Hmm. Alright, then we'll eliminate him. Because 4,000 is not worth our vassals becoming unhappy because we have to pay them for them to stay happy with us. Doesn't matter if we can't build. Their happiness is very important. Ah, rebellion two turns. Okay, they have something to do. They're going to go back here. They're going to go here. It'll take us two turns. Perfect timing for the siege. They're just staying here for heal. Anything change over here? One less character. Yeah, Gwosa is tempting us, but I don't think we're going to be tempted. Yeah, it's not going any higher. Okay, we're good to go. Let's continue. Oh, Coalition of the Yangtze Invitation. Yuan Shao. Lin? Wait, is that Yang? Oh, Yang Feng. Uh... Pass? It's also strange that they're the Coalition of the Yangtze when the Yangtze River is right here and they're both bordering the Yellow River. Ma Zhao. Another grandson. We can only... Big fiery. Come help. Come take care of rebellion. Just gotta. Gotta march, I think. Alright. Pop this up. Ooh. Okay, it's not the important assignment as in the satisfaction. I might give up some income for more satisfaction. Because we can go to like a different commandery and throw him in for another 10 points. I mean, we can do that in Wudu, get rid of some of the corruption. And that would also kind of increase income, so it would work both ways. That way we don't have to give out titles and stuff. And it would be much easier on us. Assuming how many turns? Two turns. Okay, we'll start building. We don't need to leave it empty. All right, we're out of money for that. Gunning. Oh, we would want him. Anyhow, we'll keep sieging. Let's check this. Let's continue. Alright. So many wars around us. Oh, our animal tamer gave us a horse. Uh, silver. We got a foreman. Foreman's nice. Um, where is our administrator? We can pick up this one for the 10% industry. And in terms of the combos, I don't know if we have any of them. Uh, military discount's not important. Alright, so we can't do much. That's fine. Horse-wise, we got the red horse. Um, I mean, he's called the white horse general. Maybe we won't change it. We can probably change it for Zhang Liao. Give him a little bit more damage. Oh, thief. That opposite side of the skill tree. But maybe we can invest in her. 
Unbreakable plus 25% experience. Yeah, I think so. And then Poison Arrow works. There's no mobility speed boost, but there's charge speed boost. Not that great for kiting. But then we can also get stock. That's on herself. I don't think it's on the red new. Pretty much only going to grab her for Poison Wally. Farmer, not that interested. Smilon's back again. Also not that interested. Item-wise... Okay, nothing too impressive. We'll grab her. Right, we're here. They are starting to suffer from attrition. I don't mind sieging for a little bit longer. Because we're one turn away to get more sapping damage. Medium casualties is something I kind of want to avoid. And it's only really two more turns till... Wait, how many turns till surrender? Oh, four more turns. Eh. I want to siege them out. I have nothing else to do. Alright, rebellion formed. They're here to farm it. This is because we just captured three real quick, so we stacked three stacks of the 15 faction support. Minus 15 faction support, so that's why we got the rebellion. I mean, from the look of things, I feel like they're going to suicide into Damon Path. So maybe we'll put our bandit girl out. So she can pick up some experience. Along with this bandit character. My dad doesn't like them. Zhang Xiu likes them. Maybe Zhang Xiu should be leading. Actually, no. She gets more experience this way. And Zhang Xiu doesn't even have reach for flexibility. So we'll do this. They're back in place. Armies have all moved. We have just a little bit of money. But the good news is we don't have to spend a lot. Oh, actually, that's useless. Let's do the private workshop upgrade. All right, got to take a peek. Okay, someone wants to call it quits with Hu Mao's faction, but I don't need her. So let us continue. Li Jue want us to join a coalition with them. I somehow don't think that's a great idea. Alright. That's a useful item. I'm going to look at spies first. When we still have money to actually recruit. And we're going to pass on all of them. I think we're going to fight it. No more waiting. I'll manually fight it to minimize casualties. And then we're going to move on to fight Meng Huo's faction. And then Wu Tugul's faction. But Meng Huo first. I want the armor craftsman. Don't want to wait anymore. Can I actually just wipe them out with this? Yes, we can. Alright, let's just end their faction too. Ah, uh, we should have got them to come help and get some experience. Well, they can walk together now, I guess. We got a white horse from that battle. Alright, so they're pretty weak. I think we can fight this manually to minimize casualties. We do have fire arrows, and we took out some of the wall from the sapping, so it should be pretty easy. Uh, the garrison has a few archers and a few spear guards. Those are tough. And also the saber cav. But everyone else is pretty beat. We can do this. Let's go. Alrighty, so we're here. It's snowing, which is essentially rain. But you can see the sapping took out a lot of towers, a lot of fort towers. So it's actually cleared the way for us. Uh, if we stay around this corner, they can't actually hit us with anything. So that's good. Um, some fires already started inside the town as well. This should be a piece of cake. 
Yeah, we probably wouldn't even see casualties if this goes well. We don't need any of that. Um, I believe none of these have fire arrows. The fire arrows on the reinforcement army. So let's just dump. Hold on. Just dump everyone into this corner. You guys can chill for now. Call you guys like seven. We call them one, two. Alright, they're all here. Let's go dump our arrows. And we'll run them over. Maybe go a little bit closer. They say we don't want to inch into their archery range. But they are 50... We're 50 clear of their archery range. So this should be fine. No, no farther. Yeah, I think we're firing, just hard to see because it's snowing and it's white on white trails, but we, we are firing. Wow, why are you so fast? Zamba. Impressed. You're gonna get tired though. Yeah, Zhang Lao is the one with the fire arrows right now. He's not firing. Move him up. I don't really care who we're hitting. Because the idea here is we're gonna dump all our arrows onto the enemy anyways. So it almost doesn't matter who we're gonna shoot. Like if we can kill that, that'd be perfect. If we don't chase, that'd be perfect. Okay. Doing good. And then we need fire arrows to take out these. some of these as well. Okay, they're done. I might not need to kill those actually. We can charge them with cavalry. We need to kill the spear. Spear and enemy range. Just fire. Oh, we got so many. Yeah, they, they shoot us with arrows, we're gonna die because they're so dense. Right now, we're the one doing the shooting.
去死吧！真是可怜的鼠辈。Poor, poor unit. Let's see how fast he dies. And that first volley comes, or it's landing. And not getting erased. Maybe I made them too crowded. I don't feel like they're all shooting. Like this one's not shooting. Oh, we got a threat, we got a threat. Take them out, take them out before they fire at us. They did it. Five. Onto this one. Alright, let's stop firing. We're gonna spread them out a little. I think it's too crowded for them. Like half of them aren't shooting. Oh. Willing to do us. Alright, go help, go help, go help. So she can lock the enemy ability, he can min. He can provide melee evasion buffs. Should be a piece of cake. He has a silver weapon. Just we have insanely high melee evasion for a little bit, so she can't really hit us. We're in tower range. Go back a little. I think we just use the generals to kill the remaining archers. It'd be easier. Oh, they're angry. Unbreakable. We'll use our cavalry to kill him later. Actually, let's let's be patient. We got so much ammo left. Let's just let them finish, right? They're the only group that finished, so they can move all the way back. Four can replace them. And we'll save these fire arrows for a couple more towers over here later. And anyone who wants to stand in these zones will just get shot to death. Including those on the walls. Wall is taking so many of the arrows though. Alright, spear guards. Still gonna die. You can only block at 65%. Oh, 55. Never mind. These are 65. So many arrows on the ground. Ah, shield's facing the wrong way, my friend. Alright, 
何做得更好？在吾面前，尔等应有自知之明。军士兵正在溃逃。Oh, we got some archers on the move. 准备就绪。惩治敌军。We're gonna go make sure they don't bother us. 听命。准备就绪。Oh, they weren't close enough. Okay, it's fine. 挺住。We have to kill the general. He's unbreakable. Or else the rest of the unit won't route, anyways. I mean, these guys. Wait till he finishes. And then we'll pull them back. Three can't move up. Yeah, they have good armor, but um, way too many arrows, I would say. Opportunity of turning around. Shoot them, shoot them, shoot them. Yeah. Waiting for you. That's all we have. It's okay. It's like six v one, except for one of them wants to just keep charging, and then we have healing on top of that, and then about to get 100% melee evasion. Oh, he's just dead. He's just dead. They should route now. Then, yeah, their unbreakable general's gone. All right, we did it. That was uh about. Three full stack worth of arrows, maybe a little bit more actually, but pretty easy. Alrighty. Zero casualty siege, my favorite. A little bit slow, but he did the job. Ooh, got a silver item, and we captured him for another silver item. Off with his head. Action destroyed. All right, two factions destroyed. The Shuba region factions are destroyed. Now it's just Nanman in the south, Nanman and us. So they still have pretty much all their movement. We're gonna go back and take Shu first. It's gonna be a group effort again. We're gonna get both of them to do it at the same time. If there's no army, we'll just delegate. That'll be the simple solution. Um, we probably need to pick out a character to give the land over to. Maybe someone slightly significant, but not really. Like, who do we want to part with? This is Zamba's wife, I believe. Right, so technically... I will rather keep her than Zamba, to be honest. Zamba... Oh, the heal is nice. Right, we're kind of depending on that heal. It doesn't fit the retinue, like skill tree wise. No poison arrow, is not gonna work. Not as efficient. Poison arrow means we just have to micro a bit more, but it's a ton of damage. Okay, 
All right, we'll, we'll decide when that time comes. Probably be a few turns before we get there. We're going to go income here for now. Probably in the future as well. We'll do pretty decent. Uh, see. Okay. I think we're out of... Well, we're not out, but we don't have enough for... Ooh. Right, we said this is going to be a food commandery, so stuff like this will stay. This is going to go. This is going to go. And this is this is way too high level. We're going to fix it and then start downgrading it. I think a small city is fine. Cuz all we're missing, oh actually no, we can we can do city cuz we can do faction unique building here too. We should have access to more trade partners now that we have that high empire. Okay, let's do this deal. What if we gave you one food? We get some cash back. And I feel like they have cash. They don't have right. They don't have per turn money, but they have cash. Okay. Do we still have any deals with them? Trade and non-aggression. I want to go to war with them. I think it's time for us to take Chang'an. Okay, we're gonna send them back here. Uh, we're gonna recall. And we're gonna set this army up to attack Chang'an with Ma Chao. And over here, I guess we'll come assist. They should probably just assist with the satisfaction issues. Like Ba and Basi. Basi should be fine now. Yeah, it's bouncing back. But in case, I think Ba is going to get a re rebellion because we just captured two pretty close to each other. Mm. And once the garrison's gone, it's minus 18. But then faction support recovers, I think, three points a turn. Mm. Doesn't matter. We'll send them down here anyways. We got to keep going down south. All right. Let's see. We got some more cash. We can build some more stuff. Am I going to cancel the trade this turn? Probably not. Actually, I think let's get prepared for this. Everyone likes this. All right. I'm going to give her a renew as well. Oh, she's not high enough level. She needs one more level. Okay, we'll wait on that then. Alright, with our new found wealth. We're giving these away. I can downgrade these for money before we give it away. I will do this. And that's it. Mm, we're marquees. We're gonna need We need a lot of points to do it, Duke, yeah. Alright, still pretty far away from that, especially if we're creating more vassals, but it's okay. Let's continue. Mun Zhan wants military access? Mm, you're a little far. Okay, stay busy. 
Fight Lady Jurong, fight Mulu. Sleeping Dragon, okay, Zhuge Liang has arrived. Not in our faction, but in the game. That's a silver armor. We're also going to keep an eye out for potential vassals. Mm, I want the silver armor. Draw yet. I don't know who he. I don't know. I don't know him historically at all. But we could take the armor. Maybe we'll put Samala as a uh, administrator. Butter up to the Shima, uh, Sima clan earlier on. I want the weapon. Okay, so we'll hire him, we'll hire him, and we'll hire him. That's pretty much our income, but that's okay. And what we're gonna do is take the item and say goodbye to him. We're gonna take the item and eventually give him all of, all of Shu. Take the item and say goodbye to him. So Samai's brother, set him up nicely. Maybe he'll come to us or go to him in the future. Wishful thinking. Game's not programmed to be that smart. They don't even identify the family relationship. In the future. I think if we get a future chapter pack that's featuring Sima Yi and his coup, then we'll definitely get all the brothers all linked. Alright, we can start the siege next turn, we'll declare war then. And then we'll lag behind probably by two turns, which will be perfect time. Actually, we can just delegate it, it's pretty easy. Alright, five more turns away from level 5 silk. This gives us the silk boosting building, as well as some level 5 harbors, so it's pretty good. Ah, uh, too poor, too poor. Let's see if there are any changes. Nope. Then we have an extra trade route because of the reform. And because we also cancel another one, so we actually have two overflowing trade routes. Zhang Yang. Yeah, I'm not gonna fight him. Perfect. Even better if you pay us a little. And I think we'll save a trade agreement for this vassal that we're gonna set up with Samala. So let us continue. Mahatia wants to go to war with King Wutubu. Oh man, why are you giving us issues? We don't have to say yes, but I kind of want this anyways if he's going to pay us. I think he'll like us if we say yes. Alright, we do it. We do all these things for our sons. I mean, it's not a big issue. We can finish this up in two turns here. Three, four, maybe like five turns total. Wait, why do we have a swim kid? Huh. Oh, don't pay me is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wasn't someone married to Sun Ce? No, 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 that's not the one. We have the wife, their pair. Gotta be a female member, right? We haven't met Sun Ce yet, have we? Okay, once we meet him, we'll figure it out. I mean, Cao Cao still has this, this issue. We haven't met Cao Cao's faction either, so like, not officially, so I don't know his characters. We can't see who in his faction has Jin as the last name. 
But we'll figure out that drama too. Oh yeah, definitely. Look how many people like this. Alright, we'll do the quick one. Because we're going to eventually delegate this. Alright, they'll just pop over to join. We're going to go here to help defend. We got to downgrade this. What have we been doing? And we want land development. And then this. Actually, the water is wrong. This should be... No, no, no. Water's right. This gives discount to the military. We have unhappy faces. How come? We have three satisfaction boosts. One of them probably timed out, but still, we had three boosts and people are still angry at us. 15 reserves? Hmm. Let me see. Reserve doesn't do us any good. Only gives us military supplies. Why don't we pick this up? In case he ever comes out to fight. And then we have satisfaction issues. Why? Desire for higher office? We have 20 points from assignments. 30. She needs 35 points from assignments. Ah, to be happy. Because she's coming back. Mm. This is why we have him. Maybe it's time to say goodbye to her. Like she used to belong to Wu Jing. No marriages, no nothing. Very far away from fire arrows. Okay, so she's gone. Um, she's currently on assignment, isn't she? Wow, can we take another minus 10? Okay, we still will fire her and then we'll worry about the satisfaction later. Because it's going to tank satisfaction by another 10 points. We can get the troll to fill in. Wait, where's the troll? Oh, the troll is currently working. We have someone else. Oh, Jashu. Jashu can do it. Oh, we didn't have a spare. This is so awkward. Alright, we need you for now. We need that duke so that we can get another character up there or we can somehow get our hand on a concubine or something as long as no one's at zero we'll be fine because we're gonna get 10 points back next turn and then 15 points back the turn after ouch all right that just hurts they're getting attacked this turn we have an opportunity But we just cancel, that's the thing. Alright, Zhang Lu. We'll take her, because she can give Ma Chao the family boost. That would have been perfect, but he's busy now. Hmm. I guess just you two. Oh, it's hard to figure out this satisfaction problems. Oh, let's start downgrading these. Because we're about to trade it, we're about to give it away. Maybe we can steal her to do the assignment for us. Because if we extract, spies have fondness. And that way... That's uh, a convoluted way to spend a lot of money on one character. We're fine. We can tough this out. Let's just continue. Liu Chong's old faction. Huh. 
paying us. I mean... I don't think we're attacking them ever. Like, they're... In Hedong, which is decent. But I think I'm gonna stop after taking Chang'an. I don't even want the passes. So I guess no. Liu Bei likes this. I mean, okay, fine. All right, before we forget, we gotta get the satisfaction of things fixed. Okay, we got a lot of characters. Maybe someone like this, right? We can use her. Nobody. Oh, Ding Yi. That's the only historical one I can identify. He's a advisor that worked for Cao Cao. We have, I mean, most of the historical character belong to one of the three kingdoms, and Cao Cao just had most of the talent, so that made sense. I don't need anyone. We currently have a. We have a candidate, so let's get this done first. Three capitals, like that. Fire arrows. Alright, good. Hold on, still wanna, still wanna heal. Actually, they're not injured. None of the troops are injured, just the generals. Is it? Ah, it's... It'll work out perfectly. I bought this one. This one's impossible. School... Alliance, yuck. Capture Jincheng. But move any character. Okay, Jincheng. Don't be at war with Meng Huo. Mm. After that, maybe? Maybe we'll peace out and then focus on Wu Tu Gu for a little bit. Oh! Gifting us the gold axe, perhaps? Just gotta run in here and then he can't really do anything to us. He can try to siege us. Well, Oh wow, he doesn't want to do that. Okay. That's fine. Um, just want one. Two. And then a little bit of money. Perfect. Okay, and then we'll just take this strip. Good, 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 good. Right, we almost forgot about the satisfaction. Yeah, they'll be fine. He leveled up? Cool. 
Um, she is a administrator. She still will be a administrator. So pick that up. We actually have some savings. Very minimum, but nice. Now we can consider all these characters that were added in. I don't think we looked at their traits yet. Oh, he has good traits. I think one of them is modest or humble. Yeah, it's modest. Right, so it's like satisfaction boost, reduce penalty, desire for higher office, reduce penalty for desire for higher office. Very easy character to keep. Now, is he a spy? He could be. Like, we can keep him pretty happy, have him rank up over here, and then keep everyone else happy. He's also a low rank. It would be ideal, but I don't know about the spy situation, so I don't want to make the move. Because everyone we have is either a grudge or they're willing to spy, so we know they're not a spy. Let's not take the risk. Unfortunately, we don't have a suitable third. Wow, he's just tempting us. I mean, if we can keep his satisfaction at 100, then he's never really going to betray us. He's also far away from Fire Arrow, so he doesn't actually feel a need. Ooh, we can get a White Tiger Raider from her. These are really, really good. Alright, let's take a look at her. Willing to spy. Traits are really, really bad. Okay, terrible. Not even the units worth all that trouble. What about her? Because ideally we want a strategist or a commander. Mm. Wrong side of the skill tree. What about the commanders that we have? Oh, he's not actually here. Unbreakable. That's neat. One level away from fire arrow. One level away from getting the tail marauders. Yeah, she could work. Now we're just gonna pass. That's actually a huge force. Alright, she's not high enough level, but they are. She definitely doesn't need items. Okay. Maybe some extra cunning? Alright, so whenever they're done with the siege, I think they're going to be super weak and we take it. If they lose to it, we'll just take it for free without the war situation. Both will be wonderful. Uh, let us continue. Okay. Alright, no one cool. We're going to grab this real quick and that's going to be the end of this episode. I think I want everyone to get some experience, so what we're probably going to do is have them here, have them do most of the traveling. 
and that way Ma Teng's army still has movement to move back. Ooh. So we can get public water. That's probably what I want. Or replenishment? No, we don't need replenishment. We'll get public water. Okay, so this is rank 3. Perfect. Uh, we're done with the war here in Shu. We can probably peace out with Meng Huo at this point. Or maybe we can go grab it. It's not an important piece, but it's on the way. Like, we can get it next turn. I do need to go back to take care of him. But if you notice, the land that he's about to attack is not us. It's our vassal. They're not at war, so you can't even attack them. He's just moving through them to get to somewhere farther along. But we have time. So we can probably... I think he should go back to defend. He can continue down. And then after we wipe him out, hopefully we can capture him with his item. That would be magnificent. Uh, if not, we will just you know continue to hack away at whatever they own. Seems like Meng Huo has two pieces. He has the copper mine. That's the important piece. And then he also has a bunch over here intermixed with Meng Huo. It's just that we have a mission where we need to be at peace with Meng Huo. So that's where things are a little awkward. Uh, we'll get that done. Not going to be terribly difficult. And we can attack them. Ooh, they got repelled. So I believe the garrison should be relatively weak, right? After that big fight, we can pick this up quite easily. And then pick up the Jade and then peace out with them. So that's going to be our plan going forward. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. And see you all next time. Bye!